All right, so we're sticking with football here on the Sports Max Zone. Ravaged by Hurricane Barrel, Grenado is set to receive help from the Women's Warriors Wellness Football Tournament hosted by the Trinidad and Tobago Defence Force Women's Football Club. It started last Saturday at the Hazley Crawford Stadium in Port of Spain. The semi-finals are on today with the TNT Defence Force tackling the TTFA High Performance Women's Team and Club Sando facing the Grenada National Women's Team. The winners will advance to the final on Friday. Lieutenant Khadija Lamy is here with us to share the importance of this tournament. Welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Lieutenant Lamy, how are you doing? Hi, good afternoon. I'm great. And you? I'm doing fine. So talk to me about the competition so far. And has it, you know, attracted the response that you expected? Well, I will start by saying this is definitely a great showdown of women's football. These women are playing football. It's probably some of the best women football I've seen in Trinidad, in Trinidad ever. Um, right now, from where I'm at, I'm actually looking at the Trinidad National High Performance Team playing the Defense Force Women. And it's a showdown. We already have two goals, one from a national player, one from an ex-national player. Um, it's football. This is excitement beyond imagination and reason in women's football. It's not, women's football is not something that generally gets a lot of traction locally, but magically... This little competition has seen, have seen articles every single day of the week in our local news. Every single day, we have had coverage. We have had people. We have had cultural displays. We have even had a YouTube stream that attracted almost 5,000 views on every game. Yeah. So it has been a wonderful week of football and we're excited to see how tomorrow is going to play out. Yeah. So this season is going to play for the finals on Friday. Okay. Um the the turnout of relief items for Grenada has also been high. We have had a lot of our participants show up to the stadium with cans, what else can we do? Arrangements being made, how we are getting the relief items over to Grenada. The girls are here. They are excited. Every day, we think, well, boy, the game is going to go like this. And we have a change. Every single day, there is a change in how the, the league, the cup is being played. Yeah. And, you know, I could hear the excitement in your voice. I could hear how pleased you are with the turnout and, of course, the quality of the competition. But, Khadija, how important is it that, you know, we continue to have competitions like this to ensure that not only Trinidad's football, but, of course, the future generation of footballers where women, of course, are concerned, continues to develop? So I think this is the beginning of something really big. Upon hearing about this, competition. We have gotten traction from St. Lucia. We have gotten traction from Venezuela. So that gives us regional. That gives us um, international. So I think once we maintain the traction that we currently have, the energy that we are pushing, it will continue to give women an opportunity on this side of the hemisphere that they would not have otherwise gotten. And we need to keep supporting it. Last night, we were at a game, and there's a 14-year-old goal scorer playing for Club Sando. And this is, a, this is an opportunity for that 14-year-old to continue to grow in football, in women's football, regionally, and hope, hopefully she can move on to international playing. Yeah, Khadija, talk to us about the genesis of the tournament because um, there was a point at which this week I was wondering if, if the assisting Grenada with their hurricane relief was a, a major part of it. But was, wasn't this a tournament that was there before? And uh, based on what has happened in, in, in Grenada now, there is the opportunity to use this tournament to assist uh, things in, in Grenada? Correct. So... 
we started planning this tournament probably about five days before Hurricane Barrel passed. And um, it was so the Grenadian football president. Yes. And our chief of defense staff, they had a little communication, and in their communication, they decided that they wanted a foot. They wanted to play a defense force. We need our national team wanted to play the defense force. So both parties, they had that conversation, and when the invitation, when our chief of defense staff brought it to us, we said we will put it on as a competition and not just give the Defence Force women the opportunity or Grenada the opportunity. We will extend the opportunity to more women. So yes, it started off as just women playing football together, Defence Force and the Grenada national team, and then we opened it up and then barrel passed and we said, listen, Grenada is coming here, let us let us host. Yeah. Let us host in a big way. So we we changed how we marketed the, the competition. And we started encouraging patrons to bring relief items. We have also put out a lot of re a lot of logistics into generating that relief items for Grenada. Yeah, and and the, the the label that the tournament has, the wellness tournament. Where where did that name originate? What was the trigger behind having it called a wellness tournament? So um, we believe, as the organizers of this competition, that. Wellness is important, not just for women, but for everybody. And a part of being well is being fit. Sports fall into that line, into that category. So one of our partners is actually the Northwest Regional Health Authority. And when patrons come in, both women and men is open, they get an opportunity to do a number of medical testing, drug testing. Um, I think we had a little... Um, blood sugar, we had prostate, breast cancer, pressure. We had a number of medical testings at the stadium for Saturday, Sunday, and then again on Friday. So that's how the wellness came in, because, you know, being fit, being well, being healthy will prevent lifestyle diseases. Mm. Yeah, right, uh, Khadija, when I saw the, the first results coming through last weekend, I saw where the TT national team lost. And uh, I was saying they don't appear to be the best team in the tournament. So you, you mentioned the 14-year-old scoring for Club Sando, was it? So it, is, it, it looks to me as if it's a balanced makeup of competition there. And I know the semis are on this evening. No one knows which two teams will win and go through to the final. But when I saw the loss, I think TT national team lost 4-0 or something. And I said, um, why is the TT national team uh, not, not, not winning? But I, I recognize that the spread of players on the rosters um, are, are, would make the tournament a very balanced tournament. So um, you may see a national team being labeled a national team, but maybe some of TNT's best players are playing for the Defense Force team and the Club Sando team. So I like the nature of the competition. It looks competitive and it isn't a lopsided situation, is it? No, it's actually a very, very balanced competition. As, as I said earlier on, this, this evening is going to be exciting because we may have an opportunity where it might be a club versus a national team yes. in the finals or a national team versus a national team. Yesterday we had a team called PlayFit. Otherwise, PlayFit would not have had the opportunity to play a national team. Playfit played Grenada yesterday, and they played Grenada. They gave Grenada a run on the field for 90 minutes. They didn't come out victorious, but they never, those women did not give up in Playfit. Yeah. And they would have otherwise, they come from a very strong cultural village in the south of the island, Point Fortin, and they came and they played. Yes. I felt proud of them because they played a national team. They stood up with Grenada. Yeah. All right, Khadija, um, great talking to you on the Sports Mat Zone. I'd like to see this tournament build and uh, get even bigger in the coming years. And we were speaking earlier on in another segment about the growth of women's football and the, the need to have young, young ladies playing football so that the sport can develop in the Caribbean. And your wellness tournament there, I think, is playing its part. Thanks, Khadija. And we'll be monitoring and see what happens and who goes through to the final on Friday night. Thanks. No problem. Take care. Enjoy the rest of it. Okay, yeah, we'll be back with more on the Sports Mac Zone after this.